right, so we've done quite a few mods on our Mustang GT, and I think it's time to do a recap of everything we've done on this 2019 Mustang GT and what the future plans are for the build. Um, there's a couple things that I already have I want to install, so I'm going to take you through those as well. And just thinking out ahead, what power mods we're going to be going with as well. Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 Thank you for tuning into another video. If you're in the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you miss out on future videos. All right, so right behind me is the 2019 Mustang GT that you have been seeing on the channel. And as you guys know, we have done quite a bit of mods this year. And it has truly, truly transformed the car. So I want to go over with everything we have put on this car and in my opinion what has you know made a huge difference some of minor touches but it has really enhanced the way car drives or the way the car looks all right so here is the mustang this is the race red exterior it's a 2019 gt premium car it came with the black accent package it already had the blacked out emblems and my personal favorite which was the blacked out roof i think the blacked out roof in this car looks absolutely amazing um, I did have a stock spoiler as well, which was the stock blade spoiler. So this is one of the mods you can already see, but we'll cover it in detail. I also want to kind of give you an idea of what my intention with the build was. So this is a stock car. I'm coming from a 300 horsepower car. So this has got the 460 horsepower. And in my opinion, you know, coming from a 300 to 460, it's a lot of power um, in stock form. I do plan on doing power mods, but there's nothing power done yet. So I want to kind of tackle some of the some of the appearance mods first, um, including the tires and wheels we've done, the spoiler. I've um, got a couple of things that I'm kind of debating on what to get, but you'll see in this video um, everything. So I think to start off, I want to go up. I want to talk about some of the stuff that is still missing on the car that I'm kind of debating on. So, so if you have one of the newer 2020 and 2020 and up Mustang with a black accent package, um, they come with these side mirrors being blacked out as well. Um, even though I do have the black accent package, you can see it's still race red. So I already have the vinyl for that, so that's going to be going on very soon. Uh, the other thing, or one of the common mods I've seen people do to kind of really enhance the blackout package is get these hood vents to be blacked out as well so i've looked up a couple different kits um that are being sold in american muscle or even amazon okay, so the first mod i got on my 2019 mustang gt was these corsa extremes and i think if you own a mustang it's got a v8 you have to get an exhaust to make it sound good i'll post up some clips right now so you can hear how good this exhaust sounds on this coyote v8 the active exhaust which in track mode was pretty loud but you know it's a muscle car and who doesn't want it to be louder as long as it sounds good not some raspy stuff with the long, long tube headers then in my opinion you can just make a V8 sound loud but still sounds pretty good that was one of the first mods we did um, on this channel and on the Mustang um, I've got a lot of comparison videos uh, early into the channel that you can take a look at um, a lot of people do resonator deletes and I've heard those setups in person and to me you were getting a good bit of volume but the tone wasn't really what I was after. Um, and Corsa just makes an amazing sound exhaust. So I had to go with Corsa. Uh, Borla Tech is also one of the loudest setup that's also clean. And the best part about this exhaust, there's no drone. So I take a lot of road trips. And for me, being able to take the road trips and not annoy myself on an eight hour road trip is a huge plus. Okay, so the next mod we did is actually the tin, which I know is not really Mustang specific, but it really got rid of the fishbowl look that the stock car had. And we went with the 20%. No tin on the windshield. And we've got 20% on the sides and also the back. And if I think if you have a black accent packet where you already have a black dot roof, you have a stock black spoiler, I think it's one of the best things you can do for your car. It just completely transforms the car. Having the red and black and everything just looks absolutely amazing. And I think that's where I started seeing the vision where I was trying to modify the car and I was seeing how the car was coming out to be. And this is something you guys have already seen. Uh, the next mod we did is the GT500 spoiler. This is the replica GT500 spoiler. This is not the OEM one. Um, I've got a couple of different videos on the review of this as well. So this is basically off of Amazon. Cost me only $100. But honestly, the quality and everything on this spoiler is amazing. It gives the car a very, very aggressive stance from the back. Uh, the way it kind of sticks out, it you know, from the back, it just from the back, it has a really nice stance and is very, very aggressive. When I was looking for these, I could not find with the gurney flap because they were pretty new at that time, so it's really hard to secure them. Um, I do recommend if you can find one with the gurney flap, it adds to the aggressive characteristic of the spoiler. All right, so now let's talk about something that has truly, truly transformed the car for the better, and that is the new wheel setup. I think. One of the best things you can do on any car, Mustang included obviously, is changing the tires and wheels. And 
that has drastically changed the look of this car. So I went ahead with the SVE SV2 wheels. These are basically the replica performance pack two wheels. SV makes them in different colors. I've got the blacked out 5.0 badge because it's the stock black action package. So it just made sense to go with the blacked out wheels. And that truly has changed the way the car looks. Of course, when I changed the of course when I changed the wheels, I also changed the tires as well. So I went with the Michelin Pilot Sport All Season 4. It's a square setup, so I've got 285, 35, 19 in the front, and also 285, 35, 19 in the rear. While I originally wanted the 305s in the back to get a really wide out stance, uh, these were the only ones um, in terms of the all season tires I could find, and these were 285s. And even though this is not 305s, I think the stance on these looks still pretty good. And I mean, with the GT500 spoiler over there and the new wheels, the, the Meteor tires here, it looks absolutely amazing. The car has it has completely transformed the look of the car. I mean, the GT500 spoiler helped out with it, but the wheels themselves have completely transformed. And if you're noticing here, um, the car is lowered as well. So I do have the Steeda Progressive Springs, which has dropped the car about an inch in the rear and also an inch in the front. And the springs themselves completely changed the way the car looks. So I got the springs actually on the stock setup. I'll post up some pictures here. Um, even without the aftermarket wheels, the lowering springs completely changed the way the car looked. And the best part about it is a lot of people recommend it on the forums as well that the Steeda springs pretty much drive like stock. If I had to say maybe they made the right 10 person harsher, which is obviously not as bad compared to some of the springs that you know reduce your car's right height about 1.5 inch or so but you are gonna have to deal with having a very stiff ride which if it's your daily driver that might not be the best move now if you are not daily driving it you might be able to get a little bit better stance with some of the iBox sport lines or even some of the SR performance springs so that pretty much wraps up everything I've done on the car so far um, as you can see we we have been appearance heavy in terms of the mods because like I said the 460 is plenty but I'm starting to get bored with it now and I'll tell you about my future plans with the car. We've got the wheels, we've got the tires, we've got the traction now, GT500 spoiler and everything just looks so good. The car is pretty much what I imagine it would look like once the build is finished. Um, I do want to maybe get a front splitter, get a performance pack 2 splitter but right now I'm pretty happy with the stock front splitter only because the car is lowered and I have yet to kind of go around any speed bumps or anything where I've had to be careful. The car, even though it's lowered, the stock spoiler, the stock, the stock front spoiler just does the job fine. And I feel like if I get a new front splitter, I'm going to be scraping everywhere and that's not going to be fun. Alright, so what are the future plans for this car? So I'm going to be tuning the car. Yes, we are finally going to be tuning the car. I'm getting bored of the 460 horsepower. But most importantly, I'm getting bored of the 10-speed transmission behavior. So I want it to be shifting just the way Ford intended to. And a lot of people have recommended just getting an aftermarket tune, really solve some of the 10-speed, you know, gear hinting and all of that stuff. So I'm going to be tuning the car. We're going to go E85 as well. So it's going to be Lund tune. And I want to try the E85 tune. I do have a couple stations near me that do provide E85s. I think it's going to be really nice to do all of that and have E85. We'll be taking the car back to the drag strip and see what numbers I'm going to be running. If you recall, I did take it on these tires when the car is still stock. I ran 12.7, which is an okay time for someone who's going for the first time, um, but I'm expecting to pick a few seconds and hopefully get it down to low 12 with the E85 tune. Well guys, so that's all I've got for everything that's been done to the Mustang GT and the future mods that are going to be coming on the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below what other mods you want to see from me on this Mustang. And of course, subscribe to Red 5.0 for more videos.